Hello and welcome back to the Tog Couch, the fur covered couch. We're here to not talk about graphics kind of, we're gonna talk about this. The ROG Zephyrus. Now I have not looked up any information about this today or at all, it just arrived today and I wanted to unbox it. It's still completely sealed in its little box. I have a knife to do that. So we're gonna get into it. We're gonna take it out of its case or its box. We're gonna have a look at what this new laptop from ASUS or ROG ASUS is like. We're gonna turn it on. We're gonna see what the key's like. We're gonna do a really good overview of what you get in the box and then then we're gonna do a review when I actually get to use this through editing, gaming, and a whole bunch of other stuff because I use my laptop a lot, even when I'm at home with my desktop. So let's get started. Let me move the camera down so you guys can see what's in the box. The box actually looks pretty cool. It's a little bit banged up. It, there was no box outside of it to ship, so it was just shipped like that. But let me slice this right here. Here we go. Slice. I know you can't really see that, but we'll get into what's in the box. Now we'll be able to open it on the side. There's nothing really on the outside that I can sort of say, hey, this is what's in it. So that's kind of good. It's kind of a bit of a surprise. Is it opening gently? There we go. No. And <laughs> that's pretty cool. It's got that pop out system where you push something out and it comes out over here. Um, ROG, Republic of Gamers. Uh, IC is of gamers, Republic of gamers, IC, what does that say, IC of gamers, mm, that's interesting, uh, the laptops pops up straight out here and holy crap, how thin is that, this is the thickness of a MacBook Pro, hang on, I'm going to grab my MacBook, this is a MacBook Pro. It's as almost the size. And thinness wise, it's like two MacBook Pros. Two MacBook Pros. And uh, well, actually I wanna get, I wanna see what's, in, what's the spec of this because that's quite impressive. Um, I don't think I can see it on the back. So let's, let's just see what else is in the box now. Um, there's a lot here. So obviously there's gonna be a charger in here somewhere. So there's the brick charger. It is actually also small. That's really cool. Uh, comparably to my other uh, Strix 2, this, this is very small, so that's cool. Um, and we've got some little box here with some mini accessories. Cool, cool, cool. G series, nothing specific. And what else? Is that it? Is that it? And the power. Great. That's easy enough. That's it. That's it, that's the laptop. It has a nice design, some sort of cut across with little dimples. So we'll just get this plastic off. I might have to save this plastic. I don't get to keep this laptop at all, which is uh, an absolute shame. But uh, I will be able to review it. I'll get to use it. That's, I guess, part of the fun. So let's get this out there. So I'll have to reuse this plastic to send it back. Wow. Wow, okay, so it's plastic on the bottom. It's very smooth, it's got ventilation everywhere. So there's two large vents here, and it has side ventilation right along the back here. And on this side, we have two USB type Bs. One, oh, that's a USB-C. And the lock over here, there's an extraction fan there, must take air inside here and here. And on this side, we've got another fan extraction point. We've got the power, we've got uh, HDMI, we've got USB-C with a little D and P, so display port. So this can have uh, basically a screen out, a second screen. And we've got a, a 3.5 millimeter jack. How awesome is that? Uh, and on the top, we've got this little kind of sticker. It actually is kind of metallic, probably lights up maybe, we'll see. And um, we've got another extraction of fans here to Zephyrus here. And we've got this nice design. That's really, really cool. It's kind of like little dots kind of poked through, I suppose, drilled through. Um, I, I guess it's, it feels nice. It feels differently different than this. Uh, I wonder if it has to do with anything with cooling. So. Let's open it up. Oh, ho, ho. wow. That is very nice. Oh my g 
God. Okay, this is gonna be the first laptop I will ever review with a Ryzen 9 4000 series. It's a mobile CPU, that's okay. It's got a GeForce RTX. Have you guys ever seen a matchup like this in premium gaming laptops? This is amazing. I am so impressed. We've got some front firing speakers right here. If I can just sort of bring it up to you like that. We've got arrow keys and the keys are beautiful. Wow, tapping them feels so good. They've got a pretty long actuation point, but it just, it just flows and it's very, it's a very solid laptop. Holy crap. All right, we've got the on button. Is there any battery for it to boot up? Probably not. We're going to have to power it up, but this feels great. Wow. Okay, let's get the power on and see it booting up. And we're going to go into the specs and see what's inside. Okay, I found my reviewer's guide and it has all the specifications. So this is a 14 inch multi lifestyle gaming laptop with up to eight core AMD Ryzen 4000 series CPU and a GeForce 2060 graphics card. And this is the RTX one, of course. It is ultra slim. It can power from that type C thing over here. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the specs because it's kind of pointless because we want to do that in the in the actual review. What do we got at the top? We've got sound uh, lower and higher and we've got mute the microphone and we've got the button here which is the ROG button that lets you load up the OC overclocking um, application. We've got the normal escape control. We don't have a number pad on the side. We've got the keys here. We've got a really nice uh, feeling um, clicky one. It's very nice and clicky and I like clicking on things to know that I've tapped it or clicked it. Um, so that's good. The space bar is quite large. These actual buttons here or keys are a lot wider at the bottom. So that's very interesting. Now as you open this laptop you can see that the bottom pushes out and gives more space at the bottom when it sits flush with the ground or whatever table you put on to give more space for the fans to suck in more air. Now it also has the extrusion of the heat coming up to the top over here and this is something you may not have noticed but check this out. Check it out. A light over here. This whole bit must have lights underneath that change. So let me click accept and get to some of the software here because that is so cool. This seems to have packed so much technology. We've got a fingerprint scanner. We've got the AMD Ryzen. I know it's another CPU, but I'm so excited to see how a Ryzen computer performs. We've got also a very awesome, awesome screen at the back, which is just cool. This, I think you can probably find customizations. Friends, thank you very much for watching this unboxing. I am really, really excited to use this laptop. It is very small, very light, and just the build structure just impresses me straight from the get-go. This is one impressive laptop. But let's see how Ryzen 9 performs in here. Let's see how that 4000 series <laughs> is gonna do on a laptop. We, well, I haven't personally tested any laptops. I have tested Ryzen CPUs in desktops. Obviously the RTX card in here is gonna perform really, really well. If you may see the review of the 5600 XT that I put up recently, you'll notice that that competes straight with the RTX 2060. We'll see how the RTX 2060 compares in a laptop and we'll see if the heat management that ASUS is actually very good at works in this tight form factor. This is absolutely impressive. There's a couple of questions I have in regards to the screen refresh, but we'll see what happens. Friends, thank you very much for watching. Hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments below if this is the better type of unboxing with a bit of an overview that you'd like to see on new products that I receive. And hopefully we'll see you in another one. Thanks, like the video and subscribe if you wanna see more. Thanks for watching, bye.